Okay, y'all have to forgive the look. I went swimming last night and I have not yet dealt with all of this. But that's okay because I am here to give you guys some important info about my experience uh, swimming in a fabric tail with the Luna Monofin. Um, I can't actually show you the tail right here, so I'm gonna include clips periodically as I'm talking. Um, it's still drying in the background. So the thing is, getting into it the way that they've designed the monofin with the little knobs on the on the sides that i can show you because i don't have i don't have it in the tail i always take my monofin out to let my tail dry so these when i pull this back i have to pull it back pretty far to get my foot in but if i'm not careful and i pull it out accidentally that happens so it's not super hard to do. It does not come undone when I'm actually in the tail swimming, which is a really, that's where it counts. But it is like the first foot goes in no problem and the second foot is an absolute nightmare, but it's doable. So when it comes to that, that's, it don't really feel like that's the be all and the end all of everything. It's just, you have to do it slow. You gotta be careful. You, you just need to be patient. This isn't a tail that you just throw on this is a process this is gonna take a minute or two to get into okay so once i was in it that was fine i did notice right away that it's a great deal heavier um and not heavier is probably not even the really the term i would use but it's just it's like it's so it's so abstract to say it like this but it's a very meditative tale this is not a tale you rush in this is not a tale you're gonna win a race in this is not a tale that's made for quick movements lots of splashing, huge tail slaps, or handstands. This is the kind of tail that you're gonna wear as more of an experience of just being a mermaid and being comfortable. This isn't gonna be about how, it, like, it looks beautiful. So the looks are definitely, it. This, ta this in a tail looks incredible, I'm not gonna lie. And a lot of people were saying that it's gonna do this and have problems this way. Um, if you're smart and you just designed it correctly, or you followed my tutorials <laughs> and and I will make a new tutorial for how to do this one eventually. Um, you just don't sew it super tight. Like when you do your outline, stay on the, the traced outline. Don't sew in like you do with the Aquarius. Just sew and follow the outline exactly and you won't have a problem. And it's not gonna it's not gonna do like this or like that or anything. And that's not that's not a big deal. So um, I would like to Prove that myth. <laughs> Wrong, I guess. I'm a myth-busting mermaid up in the house today. Um, when I compare it to my Aquarius, my Aquarius mermaid tail, this guy here, I cruise in. I can be fast and I can be efficient. I can do handstands, twirls, spins, flips, the whole nine yards in that with the Aquarius fin. And that's that is a nice thing. However, I do cramp like all the time in my Aquarius, all the bloody time. So what you have to do, I have to slow myself down. I have to keep my magnesium warm water on hand. I got to do my breathing exercises so that I don't make it worse once it happens. It's a whole mental thing that has to happen. With this, swimming in that tail, I cramped once. Lasted like, like half a minute. Got out pretty quick, uh, hopped in the hot tub with my feet, warmed them up, two, three minutes, I was back in my tail, and it was history, and it wasn't a problem. So the big question that everybody asks um, is can it be done? Can you use the Luna fin to make a mermaid tail? And the answer is 100% yes, you can. The thing you're gonna wanna ask yourself though is what is your goal with your mermaid tail because everybody's gonna have like a goal whether you realize it or not you're either gonna be somebody who ocean swims who does swimming in lakes you're gonna you maybe you're gonna be somebody who wants just to do photo shoots maybe just dry land events you know are you gonna want to swim fast are you gonna be a trick mermaid are you gonna do a lot of work in tanks you know there's gonna be a lot of questions you're gonna want to ask and different monofins are gonna provide you with a different ocean lake pool trick you know, land experience. Every monofin is gonna give you, is gonna have its pros and its cons. So for me, for myself and my own personal enjoyment of mermaiding, I'm gonna probably stick with a Luna fin because 
it allows me to do some relaxing. I can do a little bit of tricks in this, like doing a backflip in this was incredible. I couldn't even feel my feet. Doing a backflip, there's no pressure on your toes at all because this just bends like that. So when you're going, you're able to do it and there was no, there's no nervous, there's no like, oh my God, am I gonna cramp? Like what's gonna happen? Uh. But it is just gonna depend on what you want out of it. Of course, if you're gonna be doing swimming in currents, you're gonna need a big stiff blade. Okay, so this is not gonna be for ocean swimming, okay? Like in the shallows, maybe. Um, but the same with the Aquarius. The Aquarius is not for ocean swimming, but we all know that. So you're gonna have to decide what you want out of it. I will just say that um, to kind of clarify any concerns, is it a fast mermaid tail? No. Is there drag? There is some drag, but it's not drag in the sense that like when you wear a big top with seashells and that comes down, that creates drag and you can actually feel the drag. With this, it's drag or slow in the sense that you are just more methodical. You just really have to get your roll correct. You you need to be a little bit more relaxed when you're doing it. The, if the, the harder you push and the, and the more you try, the more you're gonna struggle. So you really have to think like water when you're, <laughs> think like water hmm. when you're wearing this it's a lot more about the the experience and not so much about speed so if that's something that doesn't bother you and you're going more for a mermaid experience you want that flow you want a certain look this is going to be a great uh, a great monofin for that okay you're going to want speed you're going to want um well power uh you're going to go for something more like this okay and then you're going to contend with things. So like I said, every fin's going to have its pros and its cons. You're going to get the speed and aerodynamics. You're also going to get the obnoxious ridges. I mean this with love, okay? Finice, you have to know, like, I love all of your products. I really do. I'm just saying that there are some areas that are going to have their pros and their cons. This is not in any way a sponsored video. I happen to love these products, so I just happen to want to put this out there but I want to be honest with you guys because I know you guys trust my opinion I've been doing this for 10 years like you know experience man it's it's been a thing so <laughs> so so I just want to give it to you straight uh no fluff you're gonna have to contend with these lovely guys okay you're also gonna have to contend with the fact that the straps loosen all the time so you can see how tight poor uh emily had to have this i'm not even kidding you like her feet had to go so tight in here because this is the big one right now i have cut mine as well so there's that okay you know if you're going for something you want something a little more mermaid looking you want to still do some tricks but you still want to have some speed you're gonna go for it for this guy right and the newer ones have different uh have different strappies they no longer have this, you know, or if you get an older one, you just use the elastic trick that does it, throw in some socks, some booties. And the area where people lose this monofin all the time is when you're using your feet to kick a lot, you're gonna lose the heel strap. So for this one, you also just have to be patient. You have to roll through it. You have to really just let it happen. Don't force things, just go with the flow. Okay, so I feel like I'm really given the old the old one too here, but it's just, that's just kind of the thing. And the more that you do it, and the more that you practice, and the more patient you are with yourself, and the less that you beat yourself up when you aren't able to do something perfect right away, the easier it's gonna be. So just be patient with yourself. Know that swimming this way, it does it does take practice. It's not something that just happens overnight. Um, but appreciate the little moments of success that you have. That's a key thing. Cause I used to beat myself silly. Like I would be like, and I used to swim in flippers too, right? So it was a totally different experience. There's a lot more drag. It wasn't as fast, but I used to be like, oh my God, you suck at this. You're so bad, like blah, blah, blah. And now I realize that it's more about my personal experience, less about what I look like, more about how I feel. And then the look comes from how I feel. So it's, yeah, it's a bit weird, but it's, it's, it's very meditative. I find, I found, I rather, um, swimming in the Luna was was a really solid mermaid experience. Just a really solid experience. It's not like I was racing anybody. I didn't have to be the fastest. It was definitely more about me being in the water versus me trying to be the best, fastest, most awesomest mermaid. Why is it always a competition, you guys? Seriously. Who has the biggest fluke? 
who's got the like the longest dorsal fin oh my god can't we all just enjoy it for what it is <laughs> anyways um i hope you found this uh in some way helpful um this is just my experience with this in a tail i just wanted to let you guys know that it is doable um different fabric is going to be a different experience you know if you use something that's like a, a thinner spandex you may get more bubbling in between your ankles uh as faith on the base mentioned in her review video of this tail she does find um and i'm not totally quoting here but you should definitely i'll include a link in the description below so you can get her thoughts on it as well because she tried a different kind of tail with it as well but because your feet are so much further apart there is more flow between your ankles now this is good and bad if you're someone like me with knee problems that's going to be the best thing in the world for you my knees never hurt in this thing this is incredible my knees aren't touching when your legs come together and you bend at the knees your knees actually separate like do it now sit at your computer or sit wherever you're watching this on your phone and put your knees straight out and then bring your legs together and you'll actually see a separation between your knees a little bit and it, it it helps to have the space in between your ankles but you do have to take that into consideration when you make your tail skin if you make it a little bit tighter while it it's gonna feel tighter it's just so so weird to say it, I didn't notice the same amount I mean you can see it in the footage maybe a little bit um, behind my knees but overall I didn't feel the same the same impact but again different fabric is going to give you a different experience the kind of fabric that I use is called spacer fabric it's a polyester uh, spandex blend uh, it's a very common material to find but with that one I didn't find it's also a slightly thicker material so something like this this is a much thinner spandex you're gonna find this is a totally different experience swimming in something that has a lot more stretch and pull than the other stuff like the thicker the thicker uh polyester spandex blend so all things to consider you know i may do more videos on this in the future talking about different options for the luna in terms of making tails but overall my personal feeling i feel like this was a success um it's the kind of thing that I would warn people about uh, should I decide to sell it with this uh, type of fin on my website. Uh, my tails for now will still include the Aquarius, of course. I'm not selling these yet. Uh, that's going to be coming eventually. <laughs> oh my god, I can hear the angry horde of people like, Courtney, you said you were going to have this figured out! It's coming, you guys! Give me a minute! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um... But overall, for my personal taste, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun to swim in. It was very methodical. It gave me a really good, calming feeling, and and I would recommend it. So, again, assess what your goals are as a mermaid before you make any decisions. Uh, watch other people's reviews. Get a few ideas, because not everybody feels the same way uh, as I do about this. But for my personal taste, and I know there are are those of you out there who are like me who like to do this a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more chill this is a good option so i'm going to leave you with that i would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below if you've tried this fin in a tail i would especially love to hear what you thought of it um, or if you just if you like this fin in general or if you have thoughts constructive uh, feedback you know there's always room for improvement um, but with every fin that fin finise seems to come out with they seem to be heading a little bit closer in a direction that makes me happy i just i'm impressed i this one was a game changer for me i really feel good about this about this fin and i noticed like i can peek up in my finder here that my face is just i'm getting all smiley i can't help it anyways <laughs> um, on that I'm going to leave you guys uh, if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along see what else I end up doing with the Luna tail I also have a lot of other good content on my channel for tail making there's going to be a link in the description box below if you want to make your own uh, custom painted uh, mermaid tail like that one um, I have full tutorials on how to do that. I've got some swimming instructional videos and that kind of thing. Um, I post weekly mermaid related content as well. Sometimes I do more than one a week, but that's not a promise. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that being said, happy swimming, happy tail making. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. All right, bye.